Comic books make up a billion dollar industry. Still, some say the success should not be measured just by sales. As CBS 17's Imani Payne reports, a Durham woman is trying to change that. Superheroes in comic books. It's a portal to another world. A world that is now more accessible thanks to people like Jasmine Truesdale. You can tell a girl she can be whatever she wants. It's another thing for her to actually see that and what that looks like. The Durham native grew up reading comic books but never saw herself represented in them. She now owns Aza Comics. For the past several years, she's created diverse comic books featuring women of different colors, shapes, and backgrounds. They can see themselves, they can see what they could be, um, and the limitlessness of what all that is. Jasmine is one of a few black female comic writers in a male-dominated industry. In 2018, DC Comics had just 17% of female comic creators. Marvel had 16. Jasmine's twist on a favorite pastime for many has not been without its challenges. I didn't go to a major publisher. In fact, I was rejected by all of them. They would say to me, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. I don't know how to market this. It was definitely a lot of struggle. <laughs> um, and I found that I kind of had to, not kind of, I did. I had to create my own lane. And that she did. Her business has seen a 350% increase in sales. She says the pandemic and a female vice president has brought a lot of new customers and supporters her way. With Kamala Harris, uh, now in office, just a lot more people looking for representation. Jasmine hopes her story inspires children that look like her to go after their dreams despite any obstacles and to keep their imagination alive. You just have to be yourself, be unique, be, be your unique self. Reporting in Durham, Imani Payne, CBS 17 News.